Thank you. An upstate business owner is fighting back tonight after a customer's claim of bed bugs went viral on social media. Yeah, the business involved is Big Air in Spartanburg. Today, the owner invited 7 News reporter Ben Hoover inside the trampoline park to show the measures he has taken to prove his business is safe. What'd you see, Ben? Well, Tom, as you know, there are risks with any business, and if you're operating an indoor kids' fun park, injuries may top that list. So when a customer took to social media and contacted 7 News with claims of bed bugs, the owner at Big Air says it made for a frustrating and expensive week of damage control. When a parent took to social media in early March warning of a potential bed bug at Big Air Spartanburg, the post went viral, and viewers contacted 7 News asking us to get answers. So we took their concerns to Big Air franchise owner Dustin Pelletier. Anytime someone says something about your business or about your kids or anything like that, you, you always want to get maybe a little defensive, but you know, we take this very seriously. Pelletier, who sold his construction business to open a trampoline park, says he knew he had to put frustrations aside and address the customer's concern. We closed the area immediately, sure that no one else was in that area. We threw away all of the foam just in case there's any type of contamination. We cleaned and sanitized the entire area. Although Pelletier says they found no evidence of bugs, he says he went an extra step by calling in a third party exterminator. They came in and could find no evidence of any type of bugs, insects, bed bugs, or anything in the park. But still, out of an abundance of caution, we decided to go ahead and treat the entire park to make sure that there would be no problem in the future as well. They went on to say that. It's very unlikely that this is even a place where bed bugs would want to be because it's, there's not really fibrous material for them to, to eat or, or to nest in. With a clean bill from the exterminator, a non-toxic treatment, and new foam cubes that Pelletier says cost him thousands of dollars, he moved into phase two of addressing the issue. Our customers are our top priority and we love our customers. Contacting customers. Pelletier says he's spoken with the mother who made the original post, has told her the inspection outcome, and says she has since removed the post. I think she realizes that it was, at the worst case, an isolated incident and uh, that there's really nothing more to it. So, Ben, let's emphasize again, no bugs found. No bugs found. Okay. Yeah. Now, and you know how it is today with social media. When folks get upset about something, have a concern about something, often they'll post that concern, but the Better Business Bureau is saying it's better to contact them. Yes, they said that they could, they could help in, in an effective way if, mm -hmm. if, if needed. But also, I also went through, through DHEC, yeah. that there is no state agency that inspects or investigates claims like this at businesses like trampoline parks. They yeah. tend to focus more so on you know, hospitals where they have beds and hotels. Well, it sounds like a lot of steps were taken to make sure the place was okay. Oh, yeah. That's what he says. Yeah. All right, Ben, thanks. Yep.